What's up, family? You all got a message for you. And I pray this bless somebody in these two. These past couple of days, I've been sick. Couldn't really talk like that. I ain't want to, like, come make a video and sound like a little robot. You know, I, get, I still kind of sound sick a little bit. But the whole time, I was sick. I could just think about, like, what is God doing for me? Well, I was sitting in bed. I couldn't do much. Felt so helpless. Think about what can God do for me? Or what is he doing for me? And that whole time, I kept having faith. But I always had that question in the back of my mind. And a lot of us have that same question. We tend to just sit back, watch spiritually, not physically, but spiritually, just sit back and watch. Like, what is God going to do for me? Oh, I'm not going to go all in because I'm going to see what he's going to do for that person. Or, oh, I'm not going to do this because I don't know if God's going to have my back with it. But God wants you to have more faith. Because while we sit back and watch, while we sit back and wait, what can we do while we wait? What can we do to get out of God's way and let him do what he does? We tend to lose faith when things take too long to us. We tend to lose faith when we get discouraged or get attacked so much. So we tend to just sit back and watch. And Lord wants you to keep taking steps forward and not stay stagnant. He wants you to take steps forward and be obedient. He wants you to have more faith. And to have more faith, you have to hear his word. Because hearing, the more you hear, the more faith you will have. The more things you read about him doing, the more you will see what he's doing. Cause he's done it before. He done all of this before. What he's trying to do for you, he's done it before, so he can definitely do it again. But to let him do it again, he has to build you, so you won't make the same mistake you've made again. It's like giving the candy. It's like giving candy to a baby, and letting them run around the house, run around the house, run around the house, run around the house, and then giving them candy the next day and thinking they're not going to do the same thing. He has to build you up. He has to fix you up. He has to change things and do surgery on you in some parts where you can't. When God wants to bless you, he has to move things from your friends. He moves some friends out of your life. He has to move some habits out of your life. He has to move some things and switch some things around so he can give you what he wants. Some, if, if God wanted to give us the blessing he can give us some of us would just lose it if God wanted to bless us with everything that we wanted the desires of our heart right now would you really say that you're not just going to go blow it and get before you get a good enough handle on the situation would you really say it was God or would you say it was man was it? it was me so God is just holding back to do fix you up build your character because God just doesn't want to build you he wants to build your character he doesn't want to just bless you he wants to build your character he wants to fix you up he wants to help you so you can help others he wants to give you more so you can give back to others So he just wants you to have more faith in what he's doing because it's not him holding back his blessing. It's him doing surgery on you. It's him fixing up those things in your life that you can't fix. He has to whoop and rock so you can have fun and you can enjoy your life. So have more faith. Feed yourself faith. When you do have faith, 
have more faith. When you have faith, read more. Get more faith. So when you don't have faith, you can speak that faith that you had. You can have that faith now. It's never impossible to just not have faith. It's possible, but it's impossible. Because if God has done things in your life, you can think back to those moments and you're like, damn. So he's still doing something for me. God has never left you. He will never leave you. He's everlasting. So trust him and trust his timing and trust the process that he's doing in your life. I love y'all. Jesus loves y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video.